Vintage sewing machine foot pedals or controllers were often made from Bakelite. This early form of plastic can look tired and grubby, but it's easy to put like new shine on it. I'm going to take this apart to clean it, and that's achieved by removing the four screws in the centre of the controller's rubber feet. As you can see, this pedal does not have a capacitor inside it. If it did, I would remove it. And I'll put a link up to a previous video on how to do just that. I'm going to do a quick test to make sure that this is Bakelite. Take a clean cotton bud and a little Autosol metal polish. Rub the autosol on a clean area of the foot pedal. If the autosol turns a yellowy brown, then the pedal is made of Bakelite. Wipe off any autosol, as this is not a good product for polishing Bakelite. Instead, I'm going to polish it with Brasso liquid. Brasso is a metal polish but it's perfect for hard plastics like Bakelite. Shake the can to make sure the polish is not separated. And apply with a clean soft cloth. If your pedal's really dirty, then clean it with soapy water first and allow it to fully dry. Bakelite fell out of favour in the 1940s but Singer continued to use it for their foot pedals well into the 1960s. It's strong and hard and doesn't flex like many modern plastics, making it the perfect material for foot controllers. making sure to get in all the corners. Don't forget to polish the button as well, as these can get really grubby. Allow the brasso to dry to a fine haze before buffing off with a clean soft cloth.
the more you buff, the better it'll look. If you're not happy with the result, just repeat the process for a higher shine. I think that's a vast improvement. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it a like, and if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.